The leaders of the U.S. and Germany say Russia will face serious consequences if it does invade Ukraine. Their show of unity came Monday following talks at the White House. They also stressed coordination and unity in a bid to address tensions in the region. Kim Hyosan with more. The leaders of the U.S. and Germany are presenting a united front against possible Russian military aggression against Ukraine. Following their first face-to-face -face meeting at the White House Monday, President Biden said the two countries are working hand-in-hand -hand to address Russia's continued military buildup along the Ukraine border. Germany is one of America's closest allies, working on lockstep to further deter Russian aggression in Europe and to address the challenges posed by China and promote stability in the Western Balkans. The German Chancellor also stressed coordination between the two countries. We are closest allies and we are working intensely together and this is necessary for doing the steps that we have to do, for instance, fighting against Russian aggression against Ukraine. The two leaders also said they will seek to de-escalate tensions in a diplomatic manner, declaring they share the same view that it's the best solution. In case of a Russian invasion of Ukraine, however, they added Moscow would face serious consequences, including strong sanctions. Their meeting comes as Germany's defense minister announced plans to send up to 350 more troops to Lithuania, a move aimed at bolstering NATO's eastern flank. This all coming as the leaders of France and Russia held talks in Moscow and the highest profile intervention yet by a Western leader to try and ease the crisis. French President Emmanuel Macron told his Russian counterpart Vladimir Putin that he hopes to avoid war and build elements of stability for everyone. Although Ukraine's security is not negotiable, Macron urged for respect for Russia when it comes to defending its own security. Putin warned that Europe will be drawn into military conflicts if Ukraine joins NATO. Saying there would be no winners from the ongoing crisis, the Russian leader added that he'll do everything to find compromises that suit everyone. Against such a backdrop, Ukraine has reportedly requested Washington deploy that anti-ballistic missile defense systems in the country's east. A Russian news agency quoted a Kremlin spokesperson who warned that such a deployment would further ramp up tensions. Kim Hyo-san, Arirang News.